What's up fellow collectors? Welcome back. Today might be Master Toy Museum. I'll be a curator today. Guys, more fun, more excitement from the museum today. From our vehicle section of our museum, we have a fun new arrival for you here at the museum. Guys, anybody that, that knows me and that definitely has been watching our, our channel, our museum collection, knows that I'm a huge, huge uh, G.I. Joe 12-inch action figure fan. And one of those most just exciting parts of the old G.I. Joe 12-inch collection that we have here is our vehicles. I love the vehicles. Um, they're big. They're detailed. They're lots of fun. Uh, I think Hasbro did a fantastic job on it. But I had a, a, a few um, viewers and collectors ask me about another 12 inch line uh, called the World Peacekeepers. And they wanted to know, did I have any figures and any vehicles uh, from that toy line? And at the time I, I, I didn't, these were toys that came out, they'd been out for a while. And uh, I remember seeing these guys in Toys R Us and different toy stores and didn't really keep up with them. Like I said, because I, I was really, so focused in on G.I. Joe. And uh, so a lot of these these toy lines kind of went on, you, you know, really unnoticed by me in a sense where I just, I wasn't that focused on them. And I could kick myself now, uh, looking back over decades and saying that, you know, I should have added some of these beautiful sets and figures you know, to, to my museum collection. And um, thankfully, uh, World Peacekeepers, um, they're re-releasing, or they're, they're releasing, I should say, a lot of new vehicles, a, new, a lot of new figure sets. And I got this beautiful set from Coswell Collectibles. And I do a lot of business with Coswell Collectibles, especially with the, the G.I. Joes and the 12-inch figures, um, the Action Mans, as you've seen all the videos. But when I saw that they would, they, that they would be um, really uh, releasing and selling a lot of these figures and, and vehicles, I had to have them, guys, because I love my G.I. Joe vehicles, the Jeeps tanks, you name it. You know, we have it here at the MIB Master Toy Museum. And this is just another cool set here from World Peacekeepers. So we want to kind of start our World Peacekeepers collection off with a bang. I just didn't want to do anything small, getting a, a figure, a few figures from World Peacekeepers. We want to go very big. And what we want to do is definitely uh, add a vehicle from the World Peacekeepers uh, collection, uh, toy line, I should say. And what you're looking at here is a Jeep. I want to say it's more on a Willys Jeep scale a model. You can see it's got the netting here at the top for the roof where you could, you know, you could put a lot of the, you know, foliage, camouflage it in the brush the driver, um, fantastic uh, action figure, 12 inches tall. And they make a point of really telling you it's a figure with over 30 articulated points. See, he's locked in there really good. Uh, this vehicle, this Jeep, that's heavy. 
really heavy. And we'll be doing a comparison for you uh, with uh, my G.I. Joe Willys Jeep, um, just to give you a sense of some comparables uh, that the World Peacekeepers uh, Jeep has to that, to the G.I. Joe Willys Jeep. Um, nice tires. The tires are, as you can see, this is still a lot. Packing stuff is sticks to it. Um, the tires are plastic. So listen, this. I know somebody's gonna say, "Well, how much did it cost?" Let's let's give you let's let's get that out the way right now. Um, this entire set right here cost me about, with shipping and handling, about seventy three dollars. Not bad at all. Fifty nine ninety nine, and then you add shipping costs in there. Uh, Coswell Collectibles did a fantastic job. Uh, I think they priced this perfectly. Um, it got to us in fantastic condition. The box is in uh, gorgeous condition. Brand new. So it's uh, it, it's worth every penny. Now a G.I. Joe Willie's Jeep mint in box uh, goes for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on eBay, Amazon, uh, on a secondary market. Uh, collectors are just not letting these vehicles go uh, for one. And when they do, um, they are they're really uh, asking for a lot of money. Here's this, this helmet there, cloth covered helmet, binoculars communications pack here m16 and guys my my uh weapons specialists uh don't jump on me too tough uh generally when i try to name off these 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 weapons i have a lot of people jump in the comment section and really give me a tough time about it you know and really tell me so if i've got the i'm saying m16 roughly m16 if if you guys know the exact name of this weapon uh, leave it in the comment section without beating me up too bad, okay? <laughs> there's an axe. There's He has um, a shovel over here. You got the gas can. Uh, an extra tire up here on the hood of the Jeep. Grill here. Um, just fantastic. Listen, if you are looking for or if you missed out on a lot of these uh, the G.I. Joe vehicles and the World Peacekeeper vehicles from yesteryear, from years of past. And they're a little bit expensive and they are they're expensive on the secondary market. Here's your opportunity to uh, get this this figure set and this vehicle set at a very affordable price. And especially if you, you know, I'm an MIB collector. Uh, our World Peacekeepers uh, Jeep will be staying inside of his box, mint in box. Um, he's, he'll be on display here at the museum uh, for your viewing pleasures. But it's, this is a piece of history now. But for those of you who like to take these vehicles out and, you know, use them for the uh, dioramas and, things of that nature and for dis display purposes this is a fantastic vehicle to do that with you can't lose you really can't it's just it's absolutely gorgeous it's simplistic it's basic but it has a charm all of its own um, it's not super ultra uber detailed and we'll get into that and i'll show you what i'm talking about and you see there's the he's got his hands here on the steering wheel You some top shots here. Looking up over, I love the this area right here with the, that netting. But let's do a comparison, guys. Let's bring in my Willie's Jeep, my GI Joe Hasbro Willie's Jeep. Hold on one second, guys. Be right back. And we are back, guys. Guys, I, I, I can't 
say enough about how much I love my vehicles. My 12 inch action figure vehicles, one six scale vehicles. Do they take up a lot of space? Absolutely, but I can't help myself. I will be adding more now that I know that the World Peacekeepers have a ton of new one six scale vehicles. Absolutely beautiful. But, you know, we want to do a comparison. Here is my G.I. Joe Willys MB Jeep vehicle. Tires are all rubber. We're talking about that heavy, heavy detail. You see he's got the, um, the shovel and the axe up here. He's got that cloth cover covering, which I absolutely positively love. Love that. That cloth covering. Here's the detail, though, we're talking about. Every little, every little item here. Very detailed. You can see our Willie's sheep is still beautifully wrapped. Still got the packing plastic all over it even the rubber bands on it and you get into the driver yes it came with a driver we have a video on this guy as well he's heavily artic articulated as well this was from the World War II Liberators collection look at that steering wheel look at all the gears Sorry for the reflection, guys. You can look in there and see all the gears down at the base there. He's got his hand on one there. All the gears, all the working equipment. This one, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he's got a underneath the driving, uh, underneath the, the dash here, um, he has a rifle. M1 carbine rifle, I believe. Once again, do not beat me up about the about the the weapons uh, from all my weapons experts. But um, you can see clearly here a nice detailed back seat, lights. He's got the. I'm gonna spin this around without knocking anything over here. He's got the his gas gas tank and stuff all that's on the back in the back we'll spin this um our world peacekeepers um box around too so you can see it but just to give you a blown out look here of both vehicles this is a more of a drab green here more of an olive I believe it's a little bit more of a lighter green with some camouflage on it like I said is it super 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 detailed no um, it's not it's not as quite as ex expensive as our Willys MB Jeep vehicle. Uh, it's not as uh, heavy, and I don't believe it's it's not quite as big either. Uh, our Willys Jeep is a little bigger, as opposed to our Jeep. And like I said, I'm giving you a a rough comparison because this is obviously this is not a Willys jeep this is more of a just a jeep jeep military jeep but it's closer because of um the uh the top you know I, I could have brought some jeeps in they didn't have tops this one had more of a top where you could put the you know the the cloth netting in, in this case it's got the it's got a a, a a plastic netting over it where you can fold this one down the fabric uh, roof, you can, you can fold that down the top. But as you can see, it still has these, these two 
pillars here, just like this one. So it, it to me it was it was more of compare uh, very comparable to our our World Peacekeepers uh, Jeep. But let's get this guy turned around. So we're gonna pause for just a, a half of a second in real time, uh, just to get this guy turned around. So we'll be right back. And we are back. Our World Peacekeepers military vehicle. Here's an uh, absolutely gorgeous layout here on the back of the box. Um, this is what I miss walking into a toy store and seeing on a toy store shelf. Um, this was the eye candy that made you excited to be a toy collector or a kid. <laughs> You know, we all have a kid in us, guys. You know, I would have been run up, running up and down and jumping up and down for joy uh, in, in the toy store back in the 1970s if I saw this sitting on a toy store shelf in a toy aisle. Absolutely would have went crazy. So this gives you just a good idea of how it looks outside of the box. They got it in, in a, in a action um, surrounding here picture. You know, you had explosions and things of that nature. Let's look at everything they got. Let's say collect them all. We certainly will. Airborne Trooper, the Halo Trooper looks fantastic. They even got the horseback here in pursuit. They have a training tower, a lookout tower. Yeah, the lookout tower. We'll be adding that as well. Here's a cool one. The ATV dirt bike. The Humvee. I definitely want the Humvee. And because, you know, we have a, a G.I. Joe 1-6 scale uh, Humvee. So we, we definitely want, want this one as well to add to our collection. So look out. Be on the lookout uh, at our channel. Um, like I said, Coswell Collectibles have most of these vehicles um some are a little bit more expensive like the humvee is a little bit more expensive than our our military uh jeep here jeep vehicle guys your thoughts we want to hear it all guys uh let us know in the comment section uh do you remember this do you have this in your collection uh what are some of your one six scale uh, 12 inch figure vehicles. We wanna hear all of that guys. And what would you like to see us get next here from the World Peacekeepers uh, collection to add to our, our museum collection of uh, the uh, Kawasaki motorcycles. We left that guy out. The ATV dirt bike uh, and pursuit the horse, the, tra uh, the lookout tower or the Humvee. Let us know guys in a comment section right underneath this video Guys, if we're just here hanging out in a museum on a very rainy Saturday, cold, what do you think of our Willys MB Jeep vehicle, the GI Joe? Do you have this in your collection? We want to hear all of that, guys. All right, we're going to pause for a hot second, guys, and we'll get this guy turned back around so we can wrap things up for you guys. One second. Okay, guys, we're back. Guys, this is just, um, like I said, when I saw this figure and I saw this Jeep, that, like I said, the make, make no mistake, the selling point for me, because I have a ton of uh, action figures, 12-inch uh, military action figures, especially G.I. Joe's. So the selling point, without question, was the military Jeep. Absolutely love it. Uh, I love the I love the vehicles, and I can't get enough of the vehicles. Every time I see a vehicle, especially if it's a mitten box, uh, have to add it. Absolutely, positively, have to add it to our vehicle collection here at the MIB Master Toy Museum, without question. Beautifully done, though. 
Get a little more lighting over here for you too. You can kind of get a chance to see these items here, the accessories a little, a little bit more in detail. Great hand sculpts. Great head sculpt. I mean, just just fantastic. Um, uh, just a, just a fantastic job with this Jeep. Um, like I said again, if you're looking for super ultra uh, detail in this Jeep, you're not going to find it with this Jeep at this price. You know, this would be more on on the GI Joe scale. Um, this was considerably more when it first came out, when I found this at Toys R Us back in the early 2000s, I think 2002, 2003, somewhere around there, consider considerably more, uh, like maybe $80, $85, something like that, with tax probably closer to 90, you know, and now this figure is the set, this Jeep, everything, mint in box like this is, is, is closer to about five, $600. It's expensive. And that's a secondary market. And I'm just going off of the prices, the ridiculous prices that I've seen this, this um, set go for. But it's, it's hard to find these vehicles now in this type of condition in still in the box. And the box is in fantastic condition on top of that. Very hard to find. So that's what makes this, that's what really makes me so excited about the World Peace, Peacekeepers uh, vehicles. You know, I can get these vehicles, I can add more vehicles, and it doesn't break me in the bank account. <laughs> you, I mean, you want to be able to add these figures and these sets and these vehicles to your collection uh, without having to break the bank. And I think that's where a lot of uh, collectors of these one six scale vehicles are going to get really excited about because um, there's so much you can do with these these vehicles. They're they're not as expensive, so you don't feel bad taking them out of the box, displaying them, uh, you know, using them, uh, customizing them. You know, a lot of I know a lot of people are just, just doing some customizing with some of these vehicles, repaints, you name it. So, but um. Fantastic. I love the fact they got this, the, the tire here on top of the hood. It's locked down pretty good, too, as you can see. But, guys, we just wanted to share this with you today. Anytime I get a vehicle, I get really excited. I just can't wait to do a video on it and show, and, and show it and uh, share it with you guys and showcase it. So this is my new World Peacekeepers military vehicle jeep with figure guys more fun on the way stay tuned you know the routine god bless stay safe and keep collecting